Hi, I'm Jeremy Johnson, talking about field point test packs today from Alaska Bow Hunting Supply. These packs are great tools to help you decide what broadhead weight you want to shoot. What I'd like to do is show you how I recommend you use these packs so you can find the most lethal arrow system possible for your style of hunting. Before you get started, make sure your bow is tuned and your arrows are flying well. Start testing at a comfortable distance. For me, I like to test at about 35 yards. Then start with the point weight you normally shoot. Increase your point weight one step at a time and look for one of two things to happen. First, look for the point at which you start getting erratic arrow flight from an underspined arrow that can't handle that heavy of a tip. Obviously, the more your arrow weighs, the more momentum you're going to have, but you should never attempt to gain momentum at the cost of arrow flight. A poorly flying arrow actually hinders penetration. If this happens, you're not gaining anything by adding broadhead weight. Either back down one step and point weight, or use a stiffer arrow. With a stiffer arrow, you can shoot a heavier broadhead. They also penetrate better because they have less impact paradox. But when you change to a stiffer arrow, remember to tune your bow before you continue your testing. The second thing to watch for is unacceptable trajectory. This means your arrows are lobbing to the point you either can't sight in your bow out to your maximum range because your sight doesn't go that low, or you find that if you make a range estimation error of plus or minus three yards, you'll miss the vitals. If you're using a rangefinder and a quality sight, this shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's take a break and see what our friend Ed found out about trajectory after shooting his test pack. Well, here we have the results. Uh, you saw for yourself. We centered at this particular bullseye right here. This is with the 70 pound Bowtech Destroyer with a Grizzly Stick 6580 with a 100 grain point. It shot off about a half inch from the zero. And that's perhaps because of a slight breeze, about a three to five mile an hour breeze we're having right here in Anchorage. Now, the second shot to 125, one inch below that. Interesting though, we increased the weight 25 grains to 150, shot in the same hole. When we went up to 175 grains, it dropped only one inch below the uh, 125, 150. But when we went to the 200 grain, also shot in the same hole. Only two inches below the zero arrow of the 100 grain. And then we went to the 315 grain, it only shot four inches below. So you can see how easy this would be to adjust the trajectory of your bow and your arrows with different point weights. Again, the heavier the point weight you have, the greater the FOC, greater the FOC, greater the lethality. Well, those were some interesting results, but I say try it for yourself with your own bow. See just how lethal of an arrow system you can shoot. Choosing the best arrow setup will take some time and expense, but I guarantee you it'll be well worth the effort.